I think Nuno is still a good manager. What he did with Wolves, uh, the seventh place finish, taking Wolves up to the Premier League is no easy achievement either. Just wasn't a good fit for the club. And mm. I think he was a victim of how publicly known it was that he wasn't first choice. And you lose the confidence of the dressing room almost straight away. Dr. Mm. Ramla, I'm not sure what you think about Nuno as a manager and about him being a fit for Spurs. No, I, 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 I liked him, you know, when he was at Wolves, you know. I, I, when I watched, uh, you know, Wolves and I said, this is a good manager. But yeah, I agree with you. I was a bit, in, in the first place, he was what, probably eighth or ninth um, in, in the list of, of uh, mm. probables and possibles, yes. So when you're, you're there, the players know about this, yes, you see. They know, you know, how far down the ladder he, he stands. So when, when they know about this, then they feel that as if you're giving me less than what we deserve. Mm-hmm. So that in itself is, is not doesn't bode well for for uh, inspiring the players to to give their best. You know, uh, we've heard grouses about uh, his training methods, and then he's he's a quiet guy, reserved. Yes, Spurs players they they need the sort of guy, the Pochettino sort of guy. You know, the the the, the arm around the shoulder. You know, the fourth. Uh, you know, the smiles and the you know the shouts. He, he, they need to to have a lively and. Uh, and uh, invigorating uh, training environment. I think that there's been missing uh, charisma, Doctor Rabbit. Yeah. I think charisma is something which he lacked because you're getting a Mourinho acolyte. He won the Champions yeah. League as a result of goalkeeper for Mourinho when he was at yeah. Porto, and they have quite similar tactics. But the difference is Mourinho was a, a magnet for headlines because of his charisma, and. Well, let's just face it. Nuno does not have the charisma of Jose Mourinho, and I think it held him back in many regards. And I don't know. I, I, I'm a little bit fearful that the fans won't be too happy after a while of Conte because he is also quite defensive. He's the one that plays with three at the back. But look yeah. at, at Conte and where he's gone. He doesn't take over clubs which have just won titles. He doesn't take over mm-hmm. at Juventus after they won nine in a row, whatever it was. He took over at Inter when they finished fourth. At Chelsea after Mourinho when they did so, so badly. Although just before that, they were champions as well, I should add. He took over at Juventus after the Calciopoli scandal in the 2000s and, and they weren't as strong as they are now. He has this amazing track record of bringing teams up from the doldrums to where they are. That's mm-hmm. why I'm excited. Yes. I- I'm just hoping it's yes. a bit more attractive football than, than Mourinho. Yeah.